It's always the same song and dance. The media rushes to put something out, either to be first, to be controversial, or torpedo someone. And if what they're putting out happens to be inaccurate or even just a total lie, all they have to do is issue a little correction at the bottom of the page or put out a half-hearted apology, and that's about it. Never mind the person, people, organizations, or entities that were negatively impacted in the first place. Their reputations have already been damaged or tainted with little to nothing to show for it. And that's why we call it the fake news media. Now, that is not to say all media is fake or all journalists are reckless, careless, biased, or agenda-driven. Of course not. In fact, it's the ones with integrity that should be the most upset with this new era of publish now, check later journalism. But it's not just political or news media that's been infected with this. Oh, no. Sports media is just as guilty. Take this clip from ESPN just last week. Somebody died in that situation. Five people. At least My five. Son plays at, least five. At, least five at least five. At least five people. My son plays base, played baseball here where we live with a, with a father. Where his son plays on the same team as my son did with a father that was a Capitol Police that's still recovering from injuries from the, the quote-unquote dust-up at the Capitol. With all the resources, the hordes of producers, the hands on deck to produce that show, and no one thought, wow, perhaps we shouldn't throw out a death toll without fact-checking it first. Five people did not die at the Capitol on January 6th. One person did, and it was Ashley Babbitt, and likely wrongfully at that. 